Hey, this one's for the single guys. I want your opinion on something. I want to hear your honest thoughts about dating a single mom. I'm asking because one of the guys I dated after my divorce said something and those words have stuck with me. He told me, you have three kids. No one is gonna wanna take you on. And let me tell you, no matter how awesome you are, those words stick. But I wanna know, what do you really think about that? Does their age matter? Younger, older? I mean, it's not like I can change that. We're kind of a package deal. That guy was correct. Single mothers bring a lot of baggage to a relationship. Men will always prefer a woman to not have children. In some fringe cases, they're probably fine with it if the guy has kids already. But other than that, they want you to have no kids. Because women in America are taught from a young age that men are kind of like an, an like an, an enemy. Like they like, or you have to like be careful with the big bad men coming to you know, ruin you or mm -hmm. you or pay you a cheap salary because you're just a dumb woman. Dun, dun, dun. Like, you know, <laughs> and it's just not the case. There's a lot of distrust. Women have a lot of distrust in men and they don't realize how much they're being indoctrinated mm -hmm. by the American culture. Like American people really are the worst at relationships on the planet. Shout out to Modern Life Dating. That's the guy who's talking in that clip. So I'm sitting in my car right now. I'm supposed to be on a date. Um, my date says he's running five minutes behind, but it's now been 15 minutes that I've been waiting. So should I leave? Or wait around for another five minutes and see what happens? I don't know. But I'm freaking annoyed. Dating these days suck. Bro. How often are women late to dates? Genuinely, let me know in the comments. Cause it has to be like 95% of the time, right? I'll do a poll and put the results right here. But if and when she's late to the date, make sure you're putting a boundary in place to make sure that doesn't happen again. And you don't blow it out of proportion or anything like that. You just do something small. Like, hey, you're late to the date. Looks like you're buying the first round of drinks. Something like that. You know, the older I get, the more I come to realizations. And I think I just had one. Dating as a 30 year old or in your 30s. Zero out of 10, I don't recommend. Dating as a single mom, zero out of 10, don't recommend. Dating as, don't do it. It doesn't matter how loyal you are, honest, openly communicative, attentive, affectionate, none of those things um. She's being completely honest and realizes the situation that she's in, but she doesn't change. Being 30 and having a kid, obviously you can't change, but you can stop dancing. That's the one thing you have control over. Don't just sit there and complain. Take your life into your own hands and make that change. Have you ever cheated? Yes. I went back to my ex. Yes, I've cheated before. One time I cheated on my ex-boyfriend with a female. Have you ever had a boyfriend? I don't do relationships. Mm. Did your boyfriend cheat on you? No, I'm the cheater. Now, did they end up finding out? Did you get caught? Yeah, all of them. Did he ever find out that you cheated on him? Yeah, probably. I cheated in front of my ex-boyfriend right in front of him at a party one time and he saw me go into the car with this other guy. I have a male friend. We've been best friends for 13 years. I mm -hmm. consider him a brother. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm not going to end the f friendship for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. So it's important that they meet each other. They, you know, establish some type of friendship, but I'm not. So I'm what not if you meet this dude, you meet this dude that you're talking about mm -hmm. and he meets your friend. Y'all go out, y'all do y'all little thing, whatever. And he come back to you. Hey, I don't f with dude. I think dude the snake. You know what I'm saying? Then what you do? You really like dude, but this your being your partner. What you do? I mean, I'm going to give him the option. If this is a deal breaker, then let me know. And if it's a deal breaker, you going to leave? Because that's, that's my brother. Like, I, I know, I see y'all. But your I brother will, will put that thing on you. No. That's what he no. thinking. No, because it, there have been opportunities for him to do it. And, and it has not gone to that point. She chooses her brother, best friend over a relationship. I don't think most men and women can be friends. Two things. The guy is either dumb for wasting all that time with this chick, or he has no balls, no confidence to actually ask her out. Turning off my husband's Xbox while he's in the middle of a game. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What do you mean? I was playing a game. What are you doing? Oh, I must have hit it on that. This has nothing to do with the game. 
it has to do with disrespect you have to understand with women there's always this like meta conversation that's going on it's outside of logic and you need to understand the broader themes that are happening in this case she turns off the game why does she think she can disrespect your private time like that for some reason or another she thinks you're weak so more than likely it's probably a masculinity test she's trying to get an emotional reaction out of you in this case it's blatant disrespect which you need to answer if she doesn't live with you ice time ice time just don't talk to her for a little bit just don't talk to her for a few days until she apologizes apologizes to you. If she lives with you, you leave the house. Go to the gym, do anything. One of your primary tools as a man is your attention. So when she's not acting right, remove your attention. Wayne and Bao are my two boyfriends and they're gonna be calling three o'clock in the morning. Wayne had the house number. So now mind you, I have my kid, my husband has his kid. We have kids. And by the way, it's my house that I pay for. I pay all the bills. Everybody's dependent on me. I'm the boss. Like you don't pay for nothing. You don't, you don't answer no funds around here. Whatever, I do the Okay. And I remember just waking up my husband like, hey, like, I gotta go, I'm taking the rover. You gotta move your car. You couldn't move it to the street and then pull yourself no, out? No, I'm not doing all this manual labor. And then I remember one particular night, I was in my car, I was backing out the driveway, he moved his car into the street, and then he gave me a kiss goodbye. I'm like, all right, baby, I'll see you in like two or three days. Not two or three days! <laughs> yes, and then I'd be gone for two or three days, and I would go home to my husband. And he would have my dinner waiting, my bath water ran. What? He I wanna be like Elizabeth when I grow up. What and the then like a glass of wine, like, welcome home, honey, did you have fun? Yes. That's so much fun. Bro. Guys like that exist? Mother of God. Mother of God. The guy's the stay-at-home husband, and she's the strong, independent boss babe that does whatever she wants. She pays her own bills. She is literally the man in the relationship. If you looked at, like, any, say, 1950s relationship, this is how it would go, but the genders would be completely swapped. She is very masculine. She is genuinely playing the role of the man in the relationship. She is a stay-at-home man, and she goes out with other men behind his back. This is why women cannot lead in relationships. She wants you to be the dominant masculine leader in the relationship. When you're not, someone has to fulfill the role of leader inside the relationship. So naturally, if you don't do it, she will. But it's unnatural for most women to be in that role. And that's when you get behavior like that turned into me pretty much telling him I'm sleeping with whomever I want and you're just gonna sit in the corner and watch so you became the master kind of I did I am <laughs> and Dakota how, how does that sit with you I like it I enjoy it you enjoy it mm -hmm. oh. so, yeah. so what, what, what does really this look choice? like I mean <laughs> Sarah will bring home men or look at his face what, what dude happens? Mm -hmm. yeah she'll bring home guys or uh We'll go meet guys at like hotel rooms or stuff. But normally she just brings them home. Yep. I like the comfort of my own home. <laughs> These are just dead and guys you meet. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a black only preference, so all of them are black, but yes. And they're, I've made them on websites or I've given my number out to people and random and just invited them over like a guy through a drive through. I thought it was cute, so I gave him my number and he showed up that night. <laughs> and this happens how often? Mm, I try to do it at least once or twice a week. And Dakota, you, you, you'll sit in the, in the room and watch? Mm, watch and record and stuff like that. Really? Or whatever the guys want me to, if they want me to do stuff. So uh, what is your experience of this? Is it humiliating? Is it uh, tantalizing? Is it exciting? Is it, what is it? Mm, it, it is humiliating. But it's also sexy to watch a guy basically perform better than I can. So I think it, it went from us doing like and swinging and to us both realizing that it was more fun if I was just watching and she was playing with the guys. Oh, but you're more closely bonded with Dakota than these all these other guys, I assume, right? Oh, yes, yes. Most definitely. <laughs> you're not, not going to leave Dakota for somebody that you... Never. Meet. Never. <laughs> I will laugh at them and tell them, no, sorry, not going to happen. <laughs> it's you're going to take me and, and then he's going to be there whether you like Those it or not. Those guys are really missing out, though. <laughs> you have a sex life that continues with Dakota? No. So you guys don't have sex? <laughs> no. Not in the traditional sense. No, not in the traditional oh, sense at all. Oh, really? So, <laughs> and Dakota, do you have sex of any sort with anyone? Not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -mm. Now that is what the terminal friend zone looks like. This is where Simpin leads, bro. He has completely outsourced his self-respect and his self-worth to his 
girlfriend or wife or whatever she is. He has pedestalized her to the point where he thinks he is nothing compared to her. I bet we're going to be seeing a lot more of this kind of stuff. Simps are rampant. Oh my gosh. We can actually sue you for doing that. I dare you. You think I'm playing. <laughs> Wait, what? That clip was really cut up. That could just be completely out of context. What is she talking about?